G'day everyone, today on our Tire Power Profiles, we're chatting with Mitch McCarron. Now, a friendly reminder to all Melbourne United fans, don't forget to get your tyres checked by your local Tire Power before hitting the road after lockdown. Very important and obviously they'll look after you. So, welcome Macca, thanks for joining us. Firstly, how is everything? How's everything with lockdown and everything going on in Melbourne? Good, mate. It's uh, trending in the right direction, I think. It's um, been nice to be back around the fellas on a regular basis. And obviously, we've got some new faces in town to the group. So it's been good to get around them and get them used to yeah, training and, and weights and everything like that. Now, you were obviously happily married at a lockdown wedding. And I'm sure most people heard about how their wedding went. But there's something else. There's a lot of big news going on in your life. Yeah, so we're expecting our first child, which is um, really exciting for both of us. Um, it was some really positive news at a time where we were a bit frustrated with the lockdown and not being able to go see people. Um, you know, we love seeing our friends around town and um, seeing our team out, teammates outside of training. So to get that kind of news um, in ISO was, was pretty great for both of us. Well, going from some really good news to probably not so good news for you being a Brisbane Lions fan... Obviously, it's tough to miss out on the big one, but how did it feel to be able to watch football during lockdown and stuff you enjoy? I know you're a big uh, Premier League guy as well. So how was it to have those kind of distractions? Yeah, it was um, it, it was a rough uh, weekend. Um, just went past. Um, but at the same time, it's been great. Um, sitting at home, watching live sport. Again, there was a time there that there was like no live sport in the world for a few weeks, I think. And I was like, what on earth do I have a TV for, really? Um, so it was cool to be able to, you know, get back and, and watch people playing sports, especially, you know, that's the world that we live in. So, um, to see so many people be affected with, you know, job cuts or whatever it was, um, it was cool to see some leagues get up and, and get around again, and that'll be our turn soon. Well, you talked a bit about preseason training. It's going to be a different looking preseason. So how's it been returning to the court and how does a typical day or a typical session run for Melbourne United? Yeah, it's been a bit different this year, obviously. Um, for us, it's been no contact um, for, well, really since returning. So everything um, is about socially distancing and um, all the drills are basic skill work, a lot of individuals, fair bit of conditioning. Um, you know, we're really getting after it in the weight room and um, we've had a ton of Zoom meetings, just making sure we stay in touch and talking about everything that we possibly can um, while we can't do scrimmage, contact drills, one-on-one, -on -one, anything like that. So it's been a very different looking preseason so far. You know, usually we'd be gearing up for games or season games and we would have had 10, 12 preseason games, but um, we're still waiting for that contact. Well, there's a big chance for you when you're doing the individual stuff to work on your own game. What are you specifically going into this preseason wanting to work on to really improve to make sure that you give yourself the best season possible? Lots of ball handling, um, you know, expecting to play some minutes, obviously, at the point guard this year. Um, so, yeah, just skills around that, um, you know, vision, passing, ball handling, shooting. I mean, you know, everyone's kind of doing similar stuff and, and then you get a bit more specific with your position um, as the weeks goes on. Once we returned the training, everyone was kind of just getting that base level of fitness, which was very poor, I must say. Um, but then after about a month, um, we really started ramping it up in terms of running and shooting conditioning drills, um, which, you know, how fun they are. So it's been good just feeling stronger and fitter now. And, and yeah. Well, hopefully that's going well for you. And now everyone's frustrated with how the season's been delayed. But the one reason we're doing that is so that we can get as many fans possible in the stands. So what do you have to say for those Melbourne United fans out there to make sure they continue to throw their support behind us? Yeah, I, I think it's, um, you know, I think it's the right decision it is a bit frustrating to say well we should be playing games at this point in time but like you said there's a reason they've pushed it back and that's because they want fans in the stadium um you know we see it in all around australia where you know just look at the afl final how many people were there and you know the netball had people there and uh, rugby league had fans so you know come season time i think we're going to be able to have lots of people um in the arenas and that's going to be great so i guess my only message would be United fans to stay locked in, stay ready because um, I think we're going to have, you know, as many opportunities as previous seasons to get out there and support and get around the team. And um, you know, they might, it might look a little different right now, but I'm really hoping that by the time season comes around, it, it'll look pretty similar to previous years. NBL 20 obviously going to start in 
NBL 21, 2021. What can our fans look forward to the most about everything about Melbourne United? I think it's going to be a really uh, versatile group. Um, I Obviously, we have a lot to figure out yet. We still haven't had scrimmage together, so <laughs> we've got to sort some roles out there. But I think it's going to be a really tight-knit group as well. Um, already, we've seen guys just bring humongous amounts of energy to practice, um, which is great to see. You know, no one's come in and said, you know, I don't want to be here or, you know, I'm not really happy with what I'm doing. Everyone's just come in and, you know, not complained. And, um, you know, we're, as I said, we're, we've worked hard in the weight room. We're doing our conditioning. Everyone's getting better. Um, and you can already see, I think it's a great sign to have young guys coming in like Jack White and, and Mason Peatling who you can just see they have work ethic in their DNA. Um, guys that just want to get better, super receptive to coaching um, and older players, they just want to hear advice and they just want to do it um, and super competitive as well. So they're only going to add to the group. Um, and I think, yeah, we'll, it, we'll have a lot of fun. Well, you definitely got some good guys to learn from yourself and, and Barlow and Chris Golding. But appreciate your time, Mac, and make sure you, you stay healthy. And to all the fans out there, this big thank you to Tire Power. Make sure you get those tyres checked before you get back on the road. I know my car's been sitting out there not moving, so I'll make sure to do the same. But appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you on the court soon. Thanks, mate. Take care.